getting started again for anyone on youtube uh we ran sh very short with our last stream of life goes on done to death like a half an hour only <laughs> 35 minutes at the moment from our babbling on or rather my babbling on well which i probably should stop so now I, let me change the title and then we will get started on the dark side detective which i don't think should take too long either but hopefully a bit long not short enough to be lasted in just in one stream so uh dark side the de detective number one then change the I category i haven't practiced my voice acting <laughs> because you oh, wanted yes. to voice the the assistant i forgot his name <laughs> oh yeah Was it was mag mac was Mac or O something. I forgot what was a, a Scottish or Irish last name. <laughs> okay. Game is starting. Uh, but I should probably... I should put one of the sources to actually record it. So give me a second on that. Life goes on. Change that to Dark Side Detective. But the only thing we're missing at the... No, that was... <laughs> that was the game. Oh, okay. all right. <laughs> Only thing we've missed was the uh, intros, or the intros, titles, whatever you'd call them. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's red, red lines, I see. Okay. Uh, let's see. We should be able to restart these, I'm presuming. But yeah, I this game so. is a this game is a fun little point and click game where well we're playing as the <laughs> titular dark side detective. Let's see, Twin Lakes uh, Police System, Volume 13, Twin Lakes, Twin Peaks, and yeah. Let's get started again on the first, <clears throat> on the first case, Malice in Wonderland. The chief uh, sent me to the Jones residence. Dooley is there with further details. Edit their kid, uh, that's a spoiler. Uh, I'll just put Malice a bar on that. But... Yes. Oh, that, that's me. Mm -hmm. Oh, almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. Dooley, you watched me drive up. I had my siren on. You waved at me as I pulled in. I guess this play has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just uh, called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Scully, Mulder and Scully, the X-Files. <laughs> Seven-year-old kid Alice went missing a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap. I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great. Let's get started. Parking dog uh, outside. I should say this. I apologize to any uh, Scottish Ivies for my horrible accent. I'm, <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> and trying not to choke for as well at this, from the sound of it. <laughs> I was not choking for once, actually. But I'm trying not to go too harsh. <laughs> Let's see. A trusty squad car. I like to call it the uh, Pupumoto. <laughs> okay. After the detective, you know whatever standing in this lane stops being fun for you. <laughs> okay, nothing else we can interact with. So let's just head inside. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's, he's here to investigate. I see. Green Lake's finest, eh? <laughs> so how can I help you, Detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, Detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. Well, so do you. You only have three <laughs> things we can talk about. C7. Exactly. A tedious age. So we'll leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? Why didn't you notice she was missing? 
I was out. How wonderfully, <laughs> wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where I was is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. Fine. Call this number. They'll file notes for me. <laughs> Busty Bell's Booty Boutique. Classy stuff. Bell. Memories. I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? <laughs> I forgot uh, that part. I've taken up enough of your time. And I've nothing further to say, Detective. Kindly leave me be. Well, Jackass doesn't really seem to care much about his daughter. I hope you don't smoke around your kids. Thankfully, Detective, I'm rarely around my kids. For the better, it seems. Nice schooner. Dummy, it's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. Yeah, there's different classes of ships and such. Uh, pretty much all I know is Galleon. I know a few. And I'll question, why did I choose that accent for him? I think I, I think first time I voice like them had a different accent. I guess I'm using this one where it's less harsh on my throat. Uh, if it becomes too much, just uh, you can drop the accent. One of those crystals is worth more than we get paid in a year. It could take one. You, uh, you passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. This reminds me of my own grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought he, I did finally find out something interesting about you. What? I'm, in I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. That 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 would actually be a pretty funny gag to just have, a, just have characters meet uh, someone's grandparents, and one of them is just a clock. I feel like that has been a joke done somewhere with that. Locked. I wonder where I'd find a key. Closet, box of junk. Hmm. A black light bulb. May as well take it. Now, we are, now all we need is a disco ball, some white gloves, and a fat beat. Then we got ourselves a good night. The good night is finding this kid. <laughs> Did you follow me into this closet? You may have needed backup. <laughs> okay. It's... Does it seem odd uh, to you that these folks don't have a kitchen or bathroom? The recession hit us all hard, Dooley. Uh, okay, or they just eat... <clears throat> or they just go out for dinner every day and just get washed. That's... Uh, I guess the modern equivalent of the Roman baths, but more private and more expensive probably as well. Okay. Let's check upstairs, since we can't go anywhere else. Let's see. Oop. There's an attic. Okay. But let's take things one at a time. Daughter's bedroom. Okay. Hey, hey I know the tree. It owes me five bucks. What? No. <laughs> I've seen a horse with five legs before. Presuming that's supposed to be the tail. A drawing of our suspects. Really? I'll put that uh, out a, a, a... Really? i put out an a, a, P, APB. APB. All points bullet in. Basically, find this jackass or find this thing. No, dude, oh. don't do that. There's no time for art, a detective. Black light. This looks useful. Nope. Black light marker. I don't have much use for a dozen pink socks. Let's see. Hello, Teddy. <laughs> Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. Stupid, no, nothing bear. 
And now we better hope not to find a severed teddy head <laughs> on our pillow when we wake up. Okay. Hello, can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone. Did you tell me about Al? She just disappeared, <laughs> my baby. Is there anything? We have to find her. Okay. Find her. Okay, dad may not give a crap, or let's be honest, might not even be your actual dad, from the looks of it, if he cares that little about it. Uh, it's about her. Uh, but, yeah. You want to get anything? This is a lot of pink. I think I did have run off, too. I think, we, I think me and Dolly are in agreement on this one. It's a place this fancy deserves serve something nicer than plastic flowers. Let's see, what another place for a telephone? They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. <laughs> Someone's getting self-aware. Oh, hello. Hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. Family photo. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Drawers. Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. A waterbed. Very fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under here. No, it doesn't. Strange page. Okay. She seems like a sweet kid. Don't worry. We'll find her, detective. Wait, okay. What am I even speaking in at the moment? Dually accents. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about Alice. Nanny McFeen. She is spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parent will do to you, I guess. What's Nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. <laughs> no siree. How long have you been working for the Jones? Jones... Uh, Jones says, detective, even talk it ends with S, you still need to So you still need to pluralize it. The stupidity of that sentence dumbfounded me. It's not really the best time. It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, ask the question. Long enough to harbor no ill will whatsoever. Say, so you're the nanny. The very instant nanny, yes. You have keys for the various rooms. I am a nanny, not a maid. Right. But do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. <laughs> We're done here for now. I'll get back, back well, I'll get back to work, and nothing else. Yes, she is acting so innocent that it's becoming suspicious, maybe? That's... Oh dear. They should unlock the study from... Okay. Typical drag it to it. And hey, presto, we're in. Let's see. Roy Jones Esquire. Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. Let's see. An old oil lantern seems to have some oil left, too. Okay, yoink. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <laughs> and let's see. A nice collection of books. The dust suggests they've not been looked at in some time. For shame. Yep, magazine stack. His magazine collection. He's, this guy is obsessed with yugs. <laughs> the jugs weekly and not the lovely pair. <laughs> Uh. Hey, I just realized that there is our only two seats in this entire room. Uh, house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more. They're just off camera. <laughs> I'm guessing the dark side is the fourth wall that they're leaning on. Okay. Hello, for for my old friend. Let's head upstairs, and let's check the attic. Nothing creepy ever happens in the attic. Some paint cans. 
Those look heavy enough to knock somebody out near the cold. Broken lamp. Hmm. Maybe not broken after all. Just a blown bulb. Okay, and we have a new bulb for that. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's <laughs> somebody's attic saying. What the hell? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. The panel on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what what, you know, what would happen if I redrew it. Yeah, dark side doorway. The boxes. A box marked Anne's broken dreams. <laughs> broken shelf. Looks like this, uh, this gave way recently, spilling paint thinner all over the wall. The paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. More boxes. Just a bunch of forgotten memories. Okay. It's a peculiar pattern from the Occults for Dummies book. Okay. Nothing new there. Dissolves paint, markers, and oily residues. Now let's see. These are from <laughs> Busty Bell's Boutique. This kid uh, didn't win out on Father's Stakes. On the Father's Stakes. Okay. Well, let's complete this thing. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw those missing symbols. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one. There. Okay. That one. And this one. That should be it. I wonder what would happen if we did it wrong. I'm guessing it'll just go, nah. But we have enough paint. We have some paint thinner. Right? Maybe now is a good... Maybe... One? Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. <laughs> it's oh a force of habit for me to start reading this stuff. Oh dear. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Let's, like, let, let's just do the thing. It's, even I'm not foolish enough to go in there without, uh, with no lights. Okay, well, we have a lantern. I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. Lit lantern. Okay. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No first detected, but I'm going nowhere near that creepy fist. And a Stengor out here. Hello. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Well, oh, kid found. The label says old milk circa 1880. <laughs> Where would you store that? Pile of junk. And look in there, mister. That's where the uh, three-eyed rats hide. A box marked baby's first cold robes. Okay. This looks like the other attic, right down to the broken shelf. Except that it's all blue and cold here. And a, a cold. Okay, let's head back. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they are getting trapped in the dark side version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. What kind of cop would give up on that miscreant? Most of the TLPD? Sadly, fair. So what is the... It, so that's what it is? An inheritance scheme? You have to admit, it's a fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. 
And if, even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Dooley wakes, you and your scheme will be done for. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get yeah, yeah, I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. Okay, drag your friend in here and no funny business. Uh let's do funny business. Have a taste of your own medicine. No and bye bye. Well that's a pro <laughs> that's that problem solvent. <laughs> Okay. Come on, Alice. Let's go. Wa let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun. Pretend it's the first time you hear heard it, okay? Um. Okay, Mister. So the kid got into the nanny stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creep addict. The dark side. But that's a surprisingly. <laughs> I keep finding that word, but I keep forgetting how to say it. Succusen? Succus? Succusens? Summary of things? I've never seen that word before. Hmm. the Nani was incertified. Shem the Nani was certifiable. She was a looker. Julie, she was dabbling in the dark arts. With a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world. Kidnap their kids and steal all their cash. I said, it, I said it was a shame, jeez. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, we have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. <laughs> and that's oh, the first dear. case done. I may still dream it normally. Zelda, I'm unsure if I do it that accent justice. Since, again, I like accents, but I don't want to come up with us mocking them. Yeah. Okay, case two, Tome Alone. Dooley suggested the visit to the library. He must have seen a strange storm gathering over it. Restart. Uh, what's that? But, hmm. Okay, I don't think that was there before with the other one. It was only just started. But yeah, yeah, I'm, we, I'm this one, going to uh, we had to uh, end it. Yeah. I'm guessing once you finish a case, you can only restart it. And yeah. And I'm also going to presume that each one of these is going to be longer than that. That was just a tutorial. Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? No, I have some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vert uh, vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here? Ah, oh, come on, Detective. You're hardly gonna arrest the weather. The things you'll try to do to justify this department. Let's get this over with. Okay, now it's coming natural to me. I automatically do it without thinking. <laughs> this statue makes me uncomfortable. They are not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. He has a bit of a point there. Before this was uh, before this was the library, it was where the mayor kept her lying collection. What? <laughs> All right, just clear that up, so... Okay, he's bullshitting, because he knows Dooley isn't smart enough to <laughs> figure it out. Let's see. This is a library. What a helpful plaque. How many cases do we need to solve, do you think? To get a car that doesn't leak in the rain. It keeps us fresh. Sharp, even. Probably also moldy. For being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. Actually, they do, back in the shelves. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. And we come to some kind of arrangement? 
Do you have any bulky tickets you want to see go bye-bye? Dooley? Yep. Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No. Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm. And you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? Okay. So what have we here? Okay, it's just a menu. I thought it was going to be a notebook where I just scribbled in stupid stuff. A silent sign. Shh. Of course. Is this your, er, uh, your to-read pile? Oh, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. <laughs> I... Actually, yeah, that would be better than putting it, uh, putting a book under a leg, because then they don't get damaged. From a certain angle, it looked like Dooley has crazy hair. Okay. I thought you find uh, you found owning books suspicious. It is. What kind of secret stuff are you reading that you can't get it from your local library? Maybe people just you know, like having their own books. Maybe it's a germ issue. Germs? You really will believe in anything Hollywood tells you. Uh, I'd say that Dooley is as dim as this bulb here when it goes down. Well, he is correct in not believing anything Hollywood tells you because he went a little bit far. Yeah. <laughs> what were you saying about ghosts? The place is haunted. You know, the usual stuff. The usual. Flickering lights, flooding books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing off the readers. And you say a kid is to blame? He's the only one here often enough, suspiciously often if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do, or I also call a pair of oddball priests <laughs> and or a questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. Uh. Exorcist and Ghostbusters. What books did Dooley borrow? He has Rules to Rave to, or he had Rules to Rave to. Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us. And the law, what it is, and do we really need it? Dooley! Hey, what happened to librarian reader privileges? Not a real thing, buddy. I take it you gave up on the law book? No, not enough pictures. Like I said, dim bulb. What's that you're reading? Guy Lights, the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. Of a what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take her, but the clocks went forward and now it's on at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds interesting. What? It sounds awful, detective. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's just a normal person. Also, Unless they let me do a little check here. And not that. Ash during night or something? Wait, no, she did say sleepy, but... Yeah, it sounds like it. Uh, hmm. It's okay, I guess something must have been in the... I noticed a few stutters in my avatar here and there. Or maybe just how things look to me, but... It doesn't look like anything is really taxing anything. Hmm. If you need anything else, I will be here. Unless I'm not. Okay. Let's start looking around then. It's you got anything to say, Dooley? I really enjoy the I really enjoy the access to secret areas this yo get us. Tough only? Not on my watch. Not on our watch. It's I think I'm going back to my own accent slowly. <laughs> the computer seems to be broken. It's not broken, it's just hollow. So there you can still move books in it. I don't think that's supposed to work that way. 
Never know when I'll need to cut something in half, or a lazy approximation of half. Scissors. Even the lamp is flickering. I got this for Dodas last time I had to get out of paying fees. I'm gonna have to suit up the ante this time. Guy lights and <laughs> she plays. <laughs> she stuck her own face over the characters' heads. And of course, October. Let's see, an old photocopy room. I can't imagine this uh, gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the recur. Um, what? Everyone's butt? Just mine, now that I think of it. <laughs> what the? That's the price of working out, I guess. <laughs> okay, apparently she thinks Dooley has a cute ass. And for people wondering what just happened, apparently someone just honked some weird thing outside. Something like a very old car. Okay, I didn't hear that, so I didn't. don't think it got picked up. Luckily enough. <clears throat> Let's see. Roses are red, red, violets are blue. Your loading rights are revoked due to the bo due to books overdue. <laughs> I see that's a lie. Violet or violet? It looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should uh, go through their pockets. You know, for evidence. <laughs> we do so anyways. Okay, I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm slow in dropping that accent with, yeah. like, with the flow, but I try to modify my voice a little bit. An old elevator? Where is the staircase? We have none. There was a fire, and ironically, the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, will that? I don't have the skills to wire up a normal button, never mind this one. Okay. <laughs> Sci-fi and fantasy children. Let's go floor by floor. Let's see. What odd leaves this plant has? Or... That, that's just the dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. Uh... Okay. okay. Seriously, is something causing stuttering or something? Not that I notice. I'm going to keep the task manager up in the corner for a moment to see if anything I'm spikes gonna, up. I'm close one of my windows to the curtain. Okay, apparently this is one of those games that drains that gets as much processing power as it can because it jumped to 99%. Oh, for love. Okay. They, they should not do <laughs> that with games. They should only take what they need, not as much as possible. Yeah. Don't blink. Yeah, Doctor Who reference. Uh, I'm actually blanking on their name for a moment. Angels of yeah, weeping angels. Okay, let's head here first. I wanted to be a astronaut when I was younger. Then I found out that they had to go into space. No thanks. That's where aliens live. Looks like some of the rockets and aluminium is coming off. That could be useful. Uh, this, our detective is becoming the uh, quintessential guy brush, isn't he? Just nicking whatever they can. And hello. The pieces are moving on their own. It's sci-fi books. Fantastic orbits. Drowned in moonlight. Strangled by her own bra. Wait, what? <laughs> Doctor Whom's thrilling adventures through grammar and structure. Space hike, boldly going to places safely explored by others. Can we check the... <laughs> How to woo a Wookiee. Can we check the first book again? The mass defect. <laughs> okay, I really want to do... I do really want to stream the Mass Effect games at some point. They came from space, they were brains, brains from space, space brains. <laughs> Blasters, 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 and other space weapons. Intergalactic ballistics for cats. Astro trolls. 
Fantastic orbit drowned in moonlight strangled by her own bra. <laughs> what? I think that's... You can do it or just... Why that is a title? How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. <laughs> Old library card. Let's see. What a great game, eh? Yeah, fun looking draught pieces though. I'm Wait, guessing what? the only board game that Dooley knows is a drinking game. Oh. If we're living in the middle of times, we'd be living the adventure of yeah, Darkseid Bailiff and his squire Dooley. Why do I go <laughs> with that accent? Ac Let's see. Glum Tales of the Sad Adventurer, The Library of Books, Drag <laughs> Dragon Ageism. Really? What? Dragon Age. Yeah, but Ages. And that. Isn't it like being anti certain age or something? Yeah, it'd be discriminate, uh, discriminatory against people of certain ages, unlike uh, work and such, like only young people apply or such stuff. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, Hill? Mm -hmm. Look at the table. Yeah, I've already. The, the pieces are moving on their own. Uh, the witch. You know, the witcher. No, yeah, The Witcher. Uh, Tales of an Indecisive Adventurer. Also on my want to stream at some point series uh, list of uh, of series. Fantastic Geese and Where to Find Them. Fantastic Beasts. And Looping. <clears throat> okay, let's head back. Go to the children's section. Little Devon. What about this one? The words are short and I think you can read the whole book from one cover to the other cover. Oh, is that suitable for my age range? I, re I read a book about books for my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. Uh, hello? Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Okay. So I hope that, I hope to get, I get to have a pet robot someday. So many responsibilities: feeding it, robbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach it and teach it that? I want to be on the I want to be on their good side when they invent inevitably happens. Okay, now I see why I'm doing an accent, for apparently my own accent has troubles pronouncing some words. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I always love trains and trams, not mon monorail stuff. Think they are better than everyone because they are up in the air. That's... Why your parents don't love you? <laughs> Ouch! What? I think we should give that one to Alice, or at least... Yeah. <laughs> Half of it, I'm guessing. Anne and Barry face financial ruin. Little and Big Pooh save the day. Maybe it's your fault. Little Billy and the Crushed Dreams. Baby's first hang. What? Okay. Viewmaster. A viewmaster. A viewmaster. I love those as a kid. I'll take this and see if I can find a use. It's time like this that I miss walking the beat. What? Uh, street patrol. What? Yep, that's what walking the beat means. The, the, when a, a beat cop is, well, there's even a game about that, is just a, a cop who basically patrols an area. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Let's see, there's a cool draft coming from the vents. It can be good for this kid's health. A, B, C, as easy as four, five, six. I think you've got the song wrong, <laughs> Dooley. 
Are you able to see Drakir there? <laughs> Bad baby incites a riot. Kindergarten Kate summons the devil. Grumpy Chris hates to play. Learn to count to 107, the largest number known to science. They guide to baby safe shots. But the daddy's little disappointment. Okay, what sort of shit are they, are they shelving here? No, oh, that's not right. Neat, Rick. What magic boot did you learn that from, kid? It's not magic, it's... Nothing. Let's see. You look familiar. Ever have I arrested you before? It, the dust is wrong under this. Makes me think it was moved recently. Okay. Hmm. Actually, how do we get out of here? Uh, there we go. Aim it lower. Okay, let's go to the reading room. Oh dear. Uh, that... Professor Theodore Library, inventor of the library. What? Nope, not one word of that is true. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, hello, my, my name's Raxa. I'm here to study the strange goings-on. I guess that's why you're here too, detective? Oh, I'm... Sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff. On purpose. Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching the internet for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. Let's see. Who doesn't need shock in the 21st century? Most people. A fair point. <laughs> Host of that one. Time almost seems to be standing still in boring places like libraries. Let's see. I hope there's nothing contraband in this pile. I wish. Um, you know what I mean. Let's see. So ghost hunting, eh, detective? Um, that's class of... Cause there is a whole bunch of eerie mumbo jumbo going on here. Do you notice then? I'm majoring in the occult at TLU. You can do that? I thought all that stuff was banned. Somebody has to catalog and ban it all, detective. Right. It's all fairly hush hush. So, what does one study with occultism? Whatever you want. I went with computer science so I wouldn't be studying two impractical ob subjects. Good call, Roxa. From experience, I can tell you that the occult doesn't pay much. Okay. Oh, Microfilm. Dear. Okay, that's old. Let's see. Let's see what we can find online. My lines are matching up a lot with McQueen's lines. I, I, I didn't say the magic oh, words. Come on! <laughs> looks like I need to figure out the passwords. A okay. Park reference. It's broken. If I want to look at any microfilm, I'll need to find another way to do so. Hmm. It's radiating energy, like Roxa said. I think that may be a clue. Possibly. Or radioactive. There's just, just too much here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Why would anyone have so many feelings that they need a cabinet to store them in? I think it said filings. Oh yeah, filings. It's, it is called a filing cabinet, after all. Now, well, it's a pizza. Uh, that's, you don't say the magic words. Ain't that a Jurassic Park or Worlds or whatever? That, that's a reference to the original Jurassic Park. It is. It is. At least the movie. Yeah. No idea if that appears in the book. I've been forgetting to question the question. Do you think there is such a thing as mega film? Because there's oh, microfilm. You look uncomfortable, Dooley. It's the whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? No, well, technically we're reading this. I cannot read anywhere else. Oh. 
But can I not read anywhere else? Does the room itself read? And if so, what does it read? You have a special mind, Dooley. Chief Scully says that uh, why she's assigned me to your department. <laughs> I... Do you have one brown coat you wear all the time or a wardrobe full of the same type of style? <laughs> okay. I Hill. Let's see. Turning duct tape into pants make your nether sustainable. Things you can fill jam jars with, volume 3. No! <laughs> Whittling dice out of larger dice. Detective, the, ins the inspectioning, investigative role-playing in the world of dark sides. Okay, that... Uh, I'm forgetting the specific name of it, but I'm, it's, it's marking the uh, world, uh, world of darkness, I believe. I think it's world of darkness. Yeah, that has a vampire a masquerade in it. They have a lot. <laughs> Hard wood and where to find it. And that's all of them. How to do DIY yourself. I'm really good at doing do it yourself. <laughs> I get my sister to do it for me. God, do lay. Really? This one's called Building Mediocre Mysteries by the Spooky Doorway team, whoever they are. And Spooky Doorway being the developers. <laughs> uh. DIY, because you're too broke to pay someone else to do it. So your government is broken by C. Guevara. <laughs> che Guevara. The definitive guide to landscaping from outside to downstairs. Uh. Don't think you're supposed to... Oh, other kind of downstairs landscaping. Okay. He looks like he's jumping. You're the young too if someone showed a pull up your behind. Point. Some glue. Somebody seems to have left some glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. Okay, the heck are we going to make with all of this junk? Wait a minute, there are print these are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags and his deep pockets. Rich enough that he can pay child artists for original work. This guy. Jeez. <laughs> okay, I think I know why I'm drawn to the sort of scottish is accent for... He seemed to have almost a bit of a... That kind of humor style. That you would almost expect to hear from a a comedy show from UK to have. Yeah. <coughs> See, why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over their books. Points. Let's see. Uh, reminds me of something that happened well, long, long ago. I had Let's... a book, and one of my younger brothers got to it and drew into it. I was not I was told to not tell the librarian about it. I don't see why we are sticking around here, detective. You couldn't have said that when I picked up the glue, no. Sometimes I feel like you don't see me as anything more than a haha -ha psychic. <laughs> because he does. <laughs> okay. Hmm. But do you? Is that how you see me? No comments. Let's see. The library uh, card of a one smart faced Paul Conway. Okay, some metal. A button. Hmm. Can I have the internet password, please? And give you access to all my juicy manuscripts? No chance. Doris, I need that password for my investigation. Password, not password. And I need those books kept safe until my genius is recognized. So no. Okay. What? Hmm. Let's see, we're going to need to start. Let's call that plan B. Okay. <laughs> 
And I feel like I'm back in kindergarten art class. Okay, sticky library card. Hmm. Okay, that's what I mean with microfilm. <laughs> Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that. Let's see. Cut that, no. Hmm. I think we have all of the objects we can get our hands on then at the moment. Wait, can we actually talk? Yep. I get why they are calling. I get why they all call elevators when they are going up. But could they be called descenders when they're going down? Point. Let's see. The button for the fourth floor is missing. Tetraphobia. Tetraphobia? Three of the number four is quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. What? But the fourth floor is there, just the button is missing. Oh, yeah. And we're not in China. You have all the answers, don't you? Okay, I think that that is actually a thing in... I don't know if it's in both China and Japan, but 4 is connected to uh, to death in that uh, over there. So, yeah, it's sort of treated similar to well, 13 over here, considered bad luck and such. Uh, I would say it's... It's one of the things is dying out in Japan, as far as I know. It's very rare. When you use A, the 13 is extremely uh, concerning. But in Europe, barely. Yeah, there are places where people, or where buildings, quote unquote, skip the 13th or 4th floor because of that stuff. Hmm. Let's see. We're going to need... Actually, can we... Hmm. I have no idea what we would use this sticky library card for. Hmm. Is there places that I'm missing or something? Let's see. How would we figure out that then? Also, can we... Let's see. The film is too big. It's a square peg, round hole situation. Wait, what? Hmm. Oh, well, I've destroyed some historical material. <laughs> let's hope there was a point to this. Okay... Hmm. Well, it fits. Let's look at uh, what I didn't accidentally chop up on Twin Lakes' recent history. Let's see. Spider mods do it again. Do it again. Sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burned down yet another stadium. You were going to say something? Spider muffs? What? Let's see. Major staff cuts at li uh, City Library. Budget and budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. Hopefully not literally. I know Dora is old, but that seems a bit unfair. It means very few people work here. Oh, yeah, your store is now and she's actually a tired volunteer. Tough times. Let's see. Computer star goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA starts. Konami codes. I shouldn't have read that aloud. I think I may have just summoned something. Yo. Oop. Frackpot detective claims teenagers' tags were ritual meant to show the dead that walk among us. Hello. I remember this cape. What the? Oop. Um, hello. Who are you and how did you get here? Alistair Crowley, I am that which can never be unseen, the ooze from your nightmares, the knower of the unknown. Right, that's not very helpful if I'm honest. 
Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay then, I'll bite. Tell me, O oh knower of the unknown, what's going on here? I uh, don't rightly know. Right. But I knew though that the coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room, one that holds vast power and treasures. No doubt that witch is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others that is within. The others? The others. Detective. I. Detective, right. who are you talking to? I'm talking to. You know what? I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, <laughs> what was that all again? Yeet, secret row, map power within. We cool, bro. <laughs> We're cool. <laughs> okay. What are you holding that view, Moss? And who are you talking to? Actually, we both know it's best if you don't try and explain. Yeah. As for as you were, <laughs> detective, not job. <laughs> WB Yeats. Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one. Another. Ah, another spirit. Yes. In which your question you have asked my own. Huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have uh, seen on your travels that scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a silly hat. The very same. I knew he lurked here, but uh, somewhere. You mentioned the hidden room? Yes, but on the matter, I shall say no more. Not until the beast is gone. But I just wanted... Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. Why are you wearing a view, Master Detective? Now, oh, um, it's part of the game I'm playing. The game also involves me pretending to talk to invisible people. No need for further questions. Everything has been answered satisfactorily. Goodbye. You're very bad at pretending, detective. You look uncomfortable, Dooley. I'm still not loving you, you monster Gogo's wife. <sighs> Honestly, detective, you look foolish wearing that thing around. So yeah, we accidentally made a ghost viewer. Hello. Are you an author too? I don't recognize you. I, but not like Jan, <laughs> but not like Jan Tofs with their literary fiction. I wrote useful stuff like house wiring and how to do own plumbing. Think you could fix the elevator? Red right gear, I could. I, I need a few. I need a new button, mind. Okay. This will do. What's all this for? Could you use this button to fix the elevator? Can, but it won't do nothing. It needs to be conductive to make a circuit work. Yep. That'll make. Yeah, this should make the button conductive. There Wait. we go. Hold on. Is al is aluminum conductive? Yep. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. Looks like it'll do the job. Gives me a few minutes to pop it in place. Okay. I think he's had an idea for a horrible prank. Okay. You put electric cable against someone's can of soda. Don't oh, do it, people. Yeah. Don't. Don't mess don't. with electric. Uh, oh, don't mess with open wires in the first freaking pay place. Yeah. Just don't mm. play with the electricity. Thanks for fixing the elevator, Gale. Happy to help. If it were, uh, it were fun doing something useful again. Okay. Let's go from top to bottom. Okay, it's the same. Okay. Nobody here. Also, how did she know about the ghost if she couldn't see them? What did the rabbi and the priest talk about in the library? I don't know. Nothing. Library is a place of quiet, respect, and solitude. We should be both respecting. You need to work on your stand-up material. A big important? Adams and Pratchett. <laughs> 
I read your detective books. Wonderful over the top. Wonderfully over the top. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. <laughs> Thanks. Not you. Uh oh. Okay, Pratchett I get, but I'm blanking on who Adams is supposed to be. Oh, sure as well. Pratchett I know. Yeah, from Discworld and such. Let's see. I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? It's a story about this kid who can see dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. Hello, Miss Blyton. Or Mrs. Whatever. I fear I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rotters a lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean the others. Occultists, horror writers, and DIY f yeah, fanatics. Horror is a lot of them. <laughs> okay. How is this going to get us any third... Oh, forgot something. Everyone seems to be talking to the air about me. I always knew it. I was the same one. <laughs> okay. Gale is gone. Hmm? Oh, look, Doris must have finally fixed the elevator button. No, it was. Never mind. Okay. What is it going to be up here? A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library, like How to Cook a Dinosaur, if you ever catch one. The Internet and Other Fads, uh, <laughs> Archit Architecture of the Mind by Sarah Bellum. The Sarah Bellum being a, uh, a region of the brain. And MMO Accountancy, be the fictional banker you always knew you were. So, a guide to how to play EVE Online. Uh, fun fact, before I read this, I saw a clip today from MK, and they showed uh, a photo of a page from a newspaper from 2000. Yeah. Claiming the internet was just another fad that would fade away. <laughs> yeah, and now 20 years over, it's a cornerstone of culture. Yeah, but also it's in risk of falling out considering what companies are doing to it. Yeah. Like, seriously, with the amount of what companies are doing to internet, I'm not really surprised that people soon just stop using it. Hmm, I find that doubtful, or at least... Mm, at least sites will probably see a lot less use if that were to happen. People would probably still stick to apps and such for communicating with people. Uh, uh, let's see. That's one heck of a view of the city. Can't see anything through this view, fine, Viewmaster. I won't tell everyone if you want to take it off. I will, but not just yet. I wonder if we're going to keep this thing. Looks like you can. Looks like you can get to the roof through here. Thankfully, it's locked. I'd rather not go back out in that storm. You'd probably come out with another limb. <laughs> Edgar oh, no. Allan Poe. You barely make teenage girls whimper, Howie. H.P. Lovecraft. Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. You play on common cliches. Your penny dreadfuls lack true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Why are all of these Arthurs <laughs> up in this library? Your best works aren't even written by you, charlatan. Frauds on that trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Gah, you're an infuriating man. Why do I get the feeling that he... that book is the Necronomicon? Oh, no. From Axis to Zero Oxygen, a murderous primer. He's behind you. Animal allotments? But... <laughs> Uh, Pet Cemetery. that was a reference to, only an illiterate version. Stephen Duke's The Ankle Biters. The Moaners from Beyond the Grave. Alibi Soup. The butler did it. The 
Okay, that, I was about to say that should be under T, yeah, but D is typically left out in sorting. CD. The dead person murders. Or murders. Uh, Calvin ate a cop. Did you kill them? I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you too. You were out, out last time. Very dark places. An illustrated guide. That should be under V. A compendium of inept deaths. <laughs> They're not the scariest sounding of books, aren't they? I think I might have had... I think I might have had an accident. Truly. Everyone's guilty. The fast car killers. The followers. Erroneous castrations. <laughs> the diary of Evelyn Snokes, the girl who chokes. Oh, uh, come on. Haunted place. They've gone to buy poison. Gasp. How they all died. Goodness me, he's dead. Henry Hamfist, the punch to death champion of 1934, a biography. Let's see, it kills, just quits. Juggler wounds, an illustrated story. A guide to journaling your own death. I touched its face, jobs you're not good enough for. Lemons for every meal. The kickboxing cult. The lackluster murders, cannibal carnival, late night, a uh, late train made me late, life robber, <laughs> murder, <laughs> ninja zombies and other terrible crossovers, <laughs> morals, no thanks, never look in the fridge, madman kills a person, no don't do it, nanny nightmare, map to murder, the pain giver, Places to die in, places to not die in. The origami massacres, the pain. Uh, that one's short. The quirky killings, the rash that wouldn't clear. Quickly hides, the revenger. Quay six six six. Stab fest six. Everywhere are snakes. Tomorrow the world implodes. Scary book volume four. Scary movie. The trundling. Like, the Underwhelmer. <laughs> Vivian's Hatchet. Vet's Revenge. Where wa <laughs> Where's Wano's body? Vanity Kills. They Yearn for Blood. X marks the victim. Unzip the body bag. The Yogurt Vat Drownings. Zesty Recipes for Evidence <laughs> Disposal. Okay, let's have a chat. What's going on here? I didn't take his blasted book. It was that childish Blighton woman. Why don't you tell him that? He would not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow my books over his. Nonsense. I cannot for his current zeitgeist. My works are vastly superior. He's being such a child. I'm clearly the greater horror writer. I tore apart the minds of generation. I tore apart the minds of a generation with my atheistic horror. But you were atheistic rubbish. Right, so I'll have you, mate. <laughs> Come, Hadley, you sickly twerp. You two, stop it, or I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. <laughs> no, I never. It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Right, right here. Another peep. Peep. <laughs> okay. Okay, excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? He and that poor fellow won't stop fighting over which one has the more frightful book. I took his book in, uh, in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I just shan't. How am I meant to stop those two fighting? This is not my concern. You want this book? You stop their fight. It's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely that would stop their bickering. Uh, uh, okay, you know, just the thing. It's the first the... alien's diary. Alright. <laughs> I do even have a diary. Mm, I've tried to keep them at times, but just never continue with it. Hmm. I've never been up here before. 
Because of the broken elevator? Because it's scary up here. Candles? These are one hell of an atmospheric fire hazard. This is one creepy looking bookshelf. It's... But it is horror, so it kind of fits. Hmm. See, I would like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Can I sign up for one? Mm, no, I'm too busy reading my book to help. Suz. Dooley, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. I bet you wish you'd let me take it. I bet you wish you didn't let me make a deal now, huh? Okay. Wait, I think I know to... how to fix. Yeah, there's another line, but I don't really want to put my face on there. But I really need a picture of myself. The things I do for this job. Oh no. This is going to be the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all my years as a cop. Okay. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. Like this one? Oh. Well then, here you go, Paul. Paul? Oh, it's Nemes! My name is Paul, like it says in the cards. My cards. Paul, Paul, Paul. His real name is Frank. Okay. Now, why is the window onto the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For health and safety reasons. Okay. Oh, time to scare these two back into the grave. <laughs> Trashy novel. Milo Stephenson's reverse vampire novel, Guy Light. Even holding it makes me ill. Okay, oh, here you go, no. you two. I think I know what he's reference to. Yeah. Twilight? Yeah. Yeah. Is this my book? No, it is not. What is it? The most, ho the most horrific novel ever written, and it's not written by either of you. Let me see that. Teenage girl, blah blah blah, reverse vampire, blah blah blah, love story. It sounds terrifying. Its mere existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. No, wait. Hold on. The, the, these two ro ro books are scary. Tell me it's horrible. Uh, we are on the horror section, so it fits. Oh, no. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. <laughs> I hope the poor chap doesn't know. <laughs> well, they're gone, but now what? I guess I could tie up some of the other ghosts' loose ends. Okay, is that what we're going to be doing? Just Wait. exercising everyone here? I don't think it's as popular anymore. Yeah. I've gotten them to agree to on the scariest book. Can I have that novel now? Good. I daren't see why you'd want this vile thing, but I did promise. Here. Lovecraft novel. Oh, you're only the kid's illusion, detective. So you have your rotten book, Lone. Leave me alone. Okay. Why am hmm. I still using that accent? I, I try to go back to my normal voice, but I end up doing the accent anyway. I'm so sorry, people. The indescribable rendering things that rend indescribably. Sounds about right. Okay, what do we need this for? Do we need to return it? I'm gonna try something else first, okay. And there's also talk about a hidden room somewhere. How would we get... actually... No, not here. Let's see. Again, I say yeah, that, you know, that you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crowley lurks uh, waiting a slip of my thumb. Tongue. I met your friend Yeats. He says you won't stop spying on him. I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you want... Uh, you want... Bleh. He says you want into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm most bored here. Need something to do, something to read. Why not use that computer that to go online? 
Two words. Safe search. <laughs> All right. Maybe I can find some kind of a workaround. Please, just stay here and don't do anything. Like I'm going to do much of anything here. Hmm. Okay, we don't give it to him. Wait, see. Oh, no. You may have the book, sir, but I shall ne'er uh, tell you how to enter the dark place where the heebie-jeebies lay in wait. Not while Crowley skulks around and uh, seek uh, around seeking that very info. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm drawing a blank as to what to do next, then. Hmm. We only have this book, which we're going to need to get into that secret room, but... First, we need to get rid of Crowley and Yeats. Hmm. How do we figure... How do we find that out, though? Hmm. I think we're fully done here. There's nothing else to do. Hmm. Nice creepy music, though. But yeah, yeah. This, is, this is taking a lot longer than I actually thought it would. I thought this was going to go, like, building up in length. Un unless the other ones are going to be even longer than this. But the first one was rather much a tutorial. True. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. This box of microfilm has gotten me into enough trouble for one day. Thanks very much. I don't need it. Let's see what we can find online. Hmm. Wait. Let's check the password. Uh, click on it. Oh, damn it. Okay, we need to know oh. it. We can't guess it. I had a one guess. Ah. Braxa, you mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How did you get past the internet blocks? After something naughty, detective? Me? No, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. That's quite well protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would hack in to steal her unpublished fanfiction. But I've figured out the admin password so I can bypass the block. Want me to give it to you so you can use it too? Please. Okay. Oh, that was easy. There. Oh, oh, wait. Now Crowley should be able to browse to his heart's content. I'll let him know. Did, did, did you see what was written on the note? One, two, three, four. Uh. Okay. Okay, I've set it up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You, uh, you may not want to stick around for this. Right, I'll leave you to your business, so. Shut the door on the way out. <laughs> of course. Uh, they're going to cl have to clean that place of ectoplasm later. Hell! <laughs> <laughs> Did I sense? Yes, the beast's eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is maybe not the term I'd use. I'd used. Come again, sir? Never mind. Just don't get into that room as you can avoid it. As you suggest. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I'll share what I can. There is a place in behind the horror sec action on the fourth floor. The source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting this building is within. How do I get in? One of the books in the L section is a lever. Pull it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear that, Dooley? Hear what? Oh yes, of course. We need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books in the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? Let's leave it at that. Also, pretty nice little background track for this. It's... Oh, yeah. 
The book the book Yeats mentioned is missing. I don't know who you're all a fan of Lovecraft. Hmm? You're looking at the Lovecraft section, a bit too godless for my taste. The Lovecraft novel, you say? Well, here goes nothing. That seemed to fit with a curious clicking noise. Right, we pull this and... <laughs> Classic. Well, there's the hidden door Yeats and Crowley were talking about. But the doors are a reoccurring motif I'm not too fond of. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again? You got it in... You got it in one, Detective. <laughs> hey there, Marco. You doing well today? <laughs> Hello, Marco. Trying to avoid getting knocked out this time. Here we go. Oh, hello. What the... What is all this? Magica Al Alistair Crowley's Guide to the Popular Wizard Game? The Gnostic Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts? Rituals for Modern Rituals? <laughs> These are all contraband occult books. This is quite the nasty treasure trove. Why didn't I know about this stuff? Hello, uh, Shelly from Frankenstein. So what are you doing here? Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to the eldritch energies emitting from this book. I like spooky books and electricity. I even lit candles to up the spook factor. <laughs> yeah, Shelley is the writer of Frankenstein. <laughs> <Not good. laughs> the check chat. Ah. <laughs> Hello. It's a crawl space. The periodic table of secret magic elements. The bumper catalog of magical components. This one is just squiggles. I can't make any, uh, I can't make anything useful out. The definitive guide to demon identification. Love in your coven. Occultism for nuns. Let's see. I mistook two for pints. Those loose wires seem to run up to the roof. Yeah, it was a comment on why those were... Well... Cut. Yeah, there's something happened here. The Necronomicon, a Psychopian cookbook. No, 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 no. Re re read that. The Necronomicon. There we go. <laughs> 101 ways to get ritual stains out of your carpets. A brief history of time magic. The Art of Pentagram Drawing, A Guide for a Bookworm, <laughs> read all the titles in the library. <laughs> a Guide to Sinking Your Coven with the Moon. And okay. yeah, let's take a look. Oh. A copy I'd be surprised of if you even know what that is, Marco. <laughs> uh, it's a viewfinder, one of those old things that you put, uh, like, certain... Uh, circular things with like photograph things in you look at them and then with a, a button you can click through them let's see a copy of Ripley's cast it or not it seems to be open on the summon spirits page maybe if I close it this whole mess will sort itself out ouch seems to be charged by this faulty wiring wonder where it goes oh my focus knows what it is all right uh, well, if you use it to see ghosts, um, yeah, ba I... basic, basically he he puts a microfilm that just happened to have an occult symbol in it uh, on, and with that he can now see ghosts and such. Yeah, and actually, like, are all these things still being sold? You could probably find them still as toys. What a strange thing to find here. Wait, is that supposed to be Dipper's hats? A, sm a small hole. I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down to see where it lands. Oh no. Skull? Normal library affair it is. A small and heavy skull with the engraving killed in Taiwan. Oh, come really? On. <laughs> I hope this works. Now to find where that landed. 
Hopefully without having caused any damage. Okay. Let's see, we lost a guy from Stranger Things. You, I don't know his name, I never watched Stranger Things. I, I only know about it secondhand as well. And it's that good. was the timer. So, shall oh. we stop it here or shall we continue on a little bit more? Uh, it, it also old save, so we can uh, stop it here for now. Okay. Let's Just hit the next little the save. Other... Oh, yeah, there. there we go. Oh, hello, save. someone's gone. Okay. You scared her, didn't you? <laughs> Just to be certain. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that'll do that for this ship. Okay, I thought that would bring us to the main screen first. But okay. uh, let's see. Don't know what his name is. I'm definitely going to check this game out. This is the Dark Side Detective, Marco. And uh, yeah, it's pretty fun so far. <clears throat> Oh yeah. Okay. With that, let's close the game. Head on over here. And we go look for someone to raid. So let me bring this up. Move it to Twitch. There's so many freaking videos that I have just ready to watch, but I just haven't watched yet. Okay. Changing the screen share. There and there. Now, let's see who are online good amount of people we have uh, let me double check that everything is muted oh it was not okay you, you shrunk in this on my end there we go okay. thank you let's see we have karen i with dark envoy uh marco has a few okay feel free to suggest okay they're just sorting i have no idea what dark envoy is Wait, hashtag Dark Envoy. Okay, they're going to be trying out games. Wargroove 2 and more. Big V Streams is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Sour what? Walrus is playing what? Parasocial. Oh, yep, they made a... Or they're making a sequel, and hello. Uh, Edrim is online with Infinity Strash. Uh, Dragon Quest, The Adventure of Die. I saw this... Has, I saw it has come by in my uh, Steam queue for today, and all of the reviews were negative, like overwhelmingly negative. Uh, <laughs> I can't rate myself, Marco. Uh, Ruffy Raccoon is playing Cyberpunk 20, uh, 2077. Uh, I'm, I'm considering getting this game now that it's been, well, now that it's gotten its 2.0 uh, patch, but... Uh, <clears throat> I'll wait just, for it till it's on discounts. Just be warned, it's chunky. Yeah. The gigs. Uh, WBPL is playing Breath of the Wild. Puffle is playing Disgaea 7, Vows of the Virtuous. Uh, <laughs> close up. Wait, that's. Oh, wait, I thought that was released next month. All right. Apparently not. Uh, Hisai Rozier is playing Pseudo Regalia, which is that N64 like platformer. And Zoe is just chatting. And Horatius the Dwarf is playing Deep Rock Galactic, celebrating Cory Fest 2023. Okay. Not sure what that is. Uh, I'm guessing it's a new event going on in the game. I haven't played in a while. Again, even though I said I was going to try and play again. Yeah, let's take a look at the people Marco suggested. I'm guessing you just have that copy pasted somewhere. Uh, let's see. Bonnie Nibonique draws. Let's see, I'm going to guess an art streamer. Oh, they're actually playing Genshin Impact at the moment, it seems. Uh, I, <laughs> I take a guess at where they are, but their screen is getting flooded. Uh, can't tell where that is supposed to be. It might be in the new region that got released recently. Uh, let's see. Nope, I had to type all that myself. <laughs> Why did you put my name in there? Let's see. Lonely Rank. Uh, let's see. Doesn't seem like they're on live at the moment. Uh, 
Uh, let's see for the <laughs> giggles. <laughs> okay, that's why. Uh, Axologic. That sounds familiar. Or it may just be because their names sound similar to Axolotl. And they're playing Baldur's Gate 3 and apparently facing some giant spiders. Okay. Would you suggest to raid then in Drakir? Hmm. I'll go take another look for this longly. It may be just taped wrong. Uh, you, I'm guessing it's Lonely's name that you messed up there. What is it supposed to be then? Move the L one space forward. Uh, Lulni. That doesn't give me any results either. It's... Yeah. Uh, we'll skip that one then. Uh, uh, oh, Lonely. Uh, that's one backwards. <laughs> They're okay. They're playing Minecraft at the moment. High pixel skyblock dungeons. Okay. Okay. You know they're playing on this uh, one of those big servers. Uh, oh, it's a multiplayer. <laughs> I don't know. Eng I don't know English. Ain't my main. <laughs> okay. Anyone you would suggest of those, Drakir, or shall I pick? I'm gonna let you pick. Uh, let's see. We've raided. I don't think I've raided uh, Hisaya in a bar, but I have been just looking, looking whilst they were playing, <clears throat> like they, when when they have been playing Dave the Diver. Um. Let's go raid the raccoon. So there. And then we head to our place. Okay, slash raid and paste. Uh, but before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, Pizza. Uh, <clears throat> and, oh, it seems I forgot to start up the chat program this time. Uh, thank you, Abby. And who else were around? Pizza. Yeah, Pizza already said. Uh, let me... Pizza, Marco, Abby... Uh, let me think. Let me connect this. Or didn't? I'm pretty sure I had that open before. Maybe it closed somehow. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> yes, stream elements is the bot. Is the chat bot? So they don't get a call out. <laughs> but yeah, this. Uh, yeah, this was a double stream. Not not a double stream. A stream of uh, the end of life goes on, done to death, and the first part of or the first parts of the dark side detective if nothing gets in the way then we'll have another stream tonight in about three hours uh of dust yay and yeah tomorrow uh, it's not another showcase day i think so we'll have to see what we put in there then maybe mm, a bit early to do dark side double well, it is Spooktober official tomorrow. <laughs> so it does make sense to continue with it. Hmm. Even though it will feel a bit more fitting to in the evening, but we do have dust still. And LA Noir. Yeah. Okay. More Dark Side Detective tomorrow in the afternoon then. And yeah, LA Noir or dust in the evening. For now though, uh, let me bring the browser back up. Let's start that raid. Okay, no block. <clears throat> and yeah, like I said, uh, dust an Elysian tail later today. Uh, the, the, the Marco, now something's wrong with Drax. He's too happy today. The world is ending. <laughs> okay. Anyways, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Peace, everyone. And watch out for undead seagulls and ghosts. Mm.